So I decided to do this thing that involves a lot of hard work from me, right? But if I want to actually build an army and build a team to be able to do this with, uh, I kind of have to do this, right? So for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Jonathan. I go by the name of Squeak. And um, online, I also go by the name of Motivational J. Motivational J is basically who I play to be online you know obviously it's not my real, my real name but it's like um uh something that i stand behind you know it's motivation and i really look to motivate and push and like really 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 try to change people's like mindsets completely because it's something that i've gone through and i've gone through a phase where i like hated myself completely where i really really did not like myself and it was just like i want to quit i want to quit i want to quit and um i had lost my girlfriend at the time and I got back to like, you know, my regular state of mind. And, you know, finally we worked it out. We got back together. And now, you know, we live in here in our house. And I, I had to come to the realization that I'm broke, you know, that, um, that I'm in a lot of debt. You know, $30,000 in debt is not easy to deal with, especially when you're 25 and you don't have a job. And you have things holding you back from being able to get a job. You know, people uh, look at you for certain charges that you have, right? So if you're out there and you deal with things like that, then you could probably relate to me when I tell you that it's tough, you know, getting a job, it's tough. And you wanna go and say, fuck everybody and forget everybody. And just, I wanna go and do it on my own because who else is gonna do it for me, right? So I had to come to that, you know, I had to get to that point in my life where it was just like, forget everybody else. I'm tired of helping, I'm tired of, doing this for others and I just gotta do more for me. I really just gotta do more for me. And I just sat down and I was like, you know, what is it that I want to do? You know, um, I, I, I'm a person, I go online for everything. Any questions, like any time that I'm stuck, like nice to meet you, but like if there's something you can take from this, first of all, is that any question that you have is on YouTube. I, I promise you that any question that you have right now is on YouTube, so there's no excuses. Past that, that's the thing that I don't understand why people don't take enough action to get there, but that's for another story, that's for another day. Any question that you have is on YouTube, right? I, myself, find everything that I want on YouTube. So any point in my life that I've ever felt stuck at, I've always gone to YouTube, right? So I go, how to get a job, YouTube. How to do a resume, YouTube. How to open up a dealership, YouTube. You find people, I found, um, What's his name? Uh, Rick Dyer. I found him on YouTube. We took his formula, me and my brother-in-law. We went and we started up a dealership. When we started up a dealership, um, that didn't work out, whatever. Uh, it was like a long process of like paying bills. And then I went my own way. And then I went with a different friend, right? Then when I, I went with a different friend to open up a dealership with him to help him out and things like that. And, you know, we started good and everything. But then like six months into it, it started going downhill, downhill. I started to be unhappy. So then I get out of there and I was like, damn, I want to do real estate now, right? So then I went and I wanted to go do real estate. So then I went and I go do real estate. I finished the school, everything. But through the school, I'm like, damn, I want to quit this. I don't want to do real estate. Like, I want to quit this. But teacher spoke to me. He was like, oh, there's only three weeks left. You only got three weeks. You might as well just get it done. I was like, damn, you're right. It's only three weeks. Fuck it. So I finished it. Afterwards, I had no drive to like actually send the the application in though. So why is that? You know, like still I have not sent the application in. So it's like, what is it that you really want? Right? So you go through all of those things and it's like, damn, you don't know what you want still. It's like, I had to realize like, I gotta do something for me. I gotta do something that makes me happy, right? So Finally, I was like, I got to stream. I have to, I have to, I have to stream. I got to become a streamer because that is my way out. That is my way into this whole industry, right? The whole online business. I got to stream. So while I'm streaming, you know, like throughout this whole thing, by the way, like if you guys go on my Instagram, I have a bunch of motivational videos. It's like me really just explaining what I'm going through and things. So um, if... I didn't decide that I wanted to stream. I think I would have drove myself crazy because I was like, I want to play video games, you know, and that sounds crazy, you know. Most people, this is the thing right here. This is where I had to be different, and this is probably the part that you struggle with. This is the part where you're like, ah, I don't want to do it because this person is going to think this about me. And trust me, I know because I felt it when I wanted to become a streamer. I felt it with... 
the people around me that look at me as a car guy where they're like why is this car guy that makes money gonna go to sit down at a desk and do nothing right and you probably like think about this like yourself if you want to become a streamer and if you do all i could tell you is go for it that's all i could tell you it's just go for it you know why because something great happened right i was doing it and i'm not gonna say that i didn't care about other people's opinion i could just push them aside you know like they still come in i'm still human i still hear them i still see them you know i just learned how to push them aside and let that not affect me and that person's relationship because i have to just prove to that person they've never seen the only thing that they've seen from me was the car guy right so i have to prove to them the side of how good i could be when it comes to this the whole online business how good it could be when you know like when i make my own business you know maybe then they will see oh maybe it was worth it for that person to go and then that'll just be so i'm not necessarily doing it for them but with time as i grow as i get better with time they will see that that decision that i made made me happier and if they truly do care about you then they will understand and i had to just come to the realization that i just gotta go harder at what i do and i just gotta Stop focusing on them caring and put that attention on, I got to do it for my happiness, right? That right there, once you do that, just shift it over. Fuck, the, like literally think about every single second that's in your head right now, thinking about the next person that's wor like that you're worried about, that take that away, bro, and just this way, shift it this way to happiness, right? Once nothing is in your way except happiness, and I mean like every thought, like, your girlfriend thinking that you're a loser because you don't pay enough bills, right? Your girlfriend saying that she don't want to be with you because um, you guys aren't on any dates. You don't go on any dates. Your brother telling you that you suck for not hitting him up. Um, your friend saying you don't hang out with him anymore because you're doing this thing. Like all of those things, I mean all of those things, everything that has to do with somebody else that has nothing to do with your happiness. Take it out of your head. Take it out of your head. Please. Please. Like now, though. You have to do it now. Got to do it now, bro. Got to do it now. And I don't mean bro. If you're a female right now and you're watching this, I don't mean bro. I be, bro is how I just, bro, that's just what I say. Bro, homie, whatever it is, that's just how I speak. Right? So you have to do it. You got to do it. And you'll see that great things come together. Right? Great things come together when, when, when you go for your happiness. For me, it was this. I always played video games, but I never took it as serious as streaming every day as far as giving a schedule. I still have not gave it a schedule because it's still a process that I am going through. I'm still adjusting through. This is me a month into this, right? I'm still adjusting to this because I'm still deciding how I'm going to pay my bills, right? So obviously I can't quit cars all the way, but I stopped focusing on it. We're going to... Hello? Anybody go? No. No. That's not me. I don't think it's me. We going. There we go. Can't be real, bro. Thank you. So, damn, I lost my whole channel. Okay, something good happens when. You Well, first of all, let that be a lesson. Never cut out any content in your video. Let that be genuinely you. Right? So that's a lesson real quick. I'm going to start doing that because I'm not too good with, like, creating videos. So instead, I'm going to be just documenting little lessons into my videos. And how you'll get those lessons is by simply watching my videos and just absorbing everything that I have to tell you. Because nothing will ever be for me. Nothing will ever be for me. Everything will always be for you. Right? So... One thing that was good that happened for me was that I was able to come to the point mentally where it was just like, okay, I got to be happy. I got to focus on this. Anything that I think about with others, like taken away from me. When you say yes to something else, you're saying no to another, right? So stop saying yes to other people and say yes and start saying more yes for you because you're just going to say no for you, bro. Stop saying no for yourself. And yes for others. That doesn't make sense. Flip that. Right? So flip that and do more for you. And what happened for me was that 
my son, my son said one day that he wanted to like play video games, right? And yeah, mind you, like he's always watched me. He's always watched me play video games. He's always watched me there kill people. He's always watched me do all of those things. But he said he wanted to play video games. So I was like, damn. You want to play video games? You know, that's cool. All right, cool. He's always played video games, but, like, this time he's, like, YouTube video games. So I was like, oh, my Lord. You know, to me, this is, like, some nerdy stuff, but, you know, to you guys, hopefully you go through this, or, like, this is something that you go through in, like, five years, and you can, like, have somebody to, like, speak to because I'm going through it now. So he's only four, and, um, yeah, you know, he's he's really good, I think. I think he's really good, and he was like, yeah, you know, I want to go on YouTube. I want to record and things, right? So he starts doing it, starts doing it, starts doing it. But he always forgets to, like, hit the record button. So I do it for him. And I always tell him, like, if you guys ever watch his videos, I always tell him in the beginning, like, say hi, be polite. You know, like, it's just me, like, trying to teach him, like, just say hi to your guests. You don't have to be, like, be yourself. You don't have to go with the extra mile. Like, you're only four years old. You don't got to be an expert. Just at least say hi. You know, I'm trying to teach him the man inside. Like, say hi. Just play your game. You don't have to say nothing to the camera right now. You don't got to do none of that and just say bye. So say hi, say bye, be yourself. And that's advice that I could give you guys as well. If you are just coming into video recording, say hi, tell your little whatever it is, be yourself. Example, the car situation. I'm being my, I don't got to go into this shit and edit it for what? To take out these little fucking two seconds for other people to say, oh, he's a, a, a professional. Shut the fuck up. I mean, I'm here to tell the story, right? So here, tell your story. And it doesn't matter how it comes out. It doesn't matter that you stutter one time. It doesn't matter that you stutter two times and three times and you got to say this, right? And then I stop and I say it again because I got stuck and then I stop and I say it again. Like, that's you, bro. That is you. Keep all of that in there. You know why you want to keep that in there? Let me tell you why. Because... One, it builds character. And two, it's for you. You know what not to do next time. It makes you better. You're like, fuck. You beat yourself up, right? Like, So you hold yourself accountable, but you don't beat yourself up. That's my number one rule, right? So at that point, you're beating yourself up, but just don't hold yourself. Just that's it. Don't, don't beat yourself up too much. Just say, okay, um, I said this two times, three times. For next time, I know not to say it again. And that'll be your lesson. Don't go into... See, the normal person would be like, oh, God, I gotta go into this video now and take out these fucking two seconds. Oh, fuck! I wanna record this shit again. Fuck it. I'm gonna stop it, right? So then right there, you'll stop it. You'll re-record the whole 20 minutes all over again because you didn't want to go into the video program, right? Eliminate all of that. Fuck all of that. That does not matter. This is all. You're doing this for the rest of your life. See? This is what I'm talking about. Distractions after distractions. But be yourself. Always keep things like that in there because it builds character. It shows other people that, oh, he doesn't care, so I shouldn't care either. And that's how the fuck you should be. Yes, you should not care. Don't care. Don't care what other people have to say. Right? So I go and I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And uh, that's what we always want to do, bro, is always go into the shit and make it perfect. Insecurity. Right? Stop being insecure. That's another thing. Right? Telling you guys, I'm giving you a lot of juicy stuff. There's a lot of juicy stuff all into one. So stop being insecure. You got to stop being insecure. Perfection is a mask for insecurity. I've heard that time and time again in this world. If you have not heard it, then you are late to this whole internet era. And you got to get more on it. You got to get more on it. You got to get more involved. And you got to do your research. Go out there. YouTube is a bitch. I am a student to this day. I am still a student. I learn every day. I watch at least one or two videos a day. And when you come into this, you're a fucking information junkie. You're like, uh, you want to absorb everything because you feel like you're not ready. You have to get out of that mindset too. You got to put everything down and say, I have to do versus I have to learn. Right? I have to stop learning versus I have to stop doing, right? But it is not that easy. It is not that easy. You know what happens? It's kind of like um like a drug. I'm gonna put an example as a of of a drug, an addiction, right? The way it works is, you have to cut down, little by little. How you do it? Little by little. <laughs> by the way, the how you do it is gonna be my thing. Uh, it's an insider joke with me and my a close friend of mine's low. You guys will see him on here a lot more. But anyways, 
um that's for another day too um you have to cut down little by little seriously little by little cut down on it if you have an addiction to anything you can't just stop right it's the reason why when you're trying to like quit drugs they give you a replacement for it because you can't cut down right away right so it's the same thing just admit that you're addicted to it me i cannot not tell you that i'm addicted to getting on youtube i can't tell you that because it's, it's man I'm addicted, bro. I'm addicted to learning, right? But you can't be addicted to learning all the time because when you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else, right? So if you're learning, you cannot do. So you have to be in do mode. You have two levels, a little do mode and you got learn mode, right? So just learn when to turn on and off each switch, right? So in the beginning, you're going to want to learn more than you're going to want to do, right? So what that is, is insecurity. I'm telling you now, Fuck looking anywhere else. You are insecure about what you're doing. Hence, you learning in the field that you're one and doing, right? I'm going to tell you one thing. Do 80%, learn 20. You're like, oh my God, no. <laughs> I like to learn 100%. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do <laughs> Yes, bitch, you got to do. Yes, you have to do, right? So... When you do, though, you don't understand that you learn. Ah. So you're able to sacrifice, but it's a different type of learning that you're doing, right? When you learn initially, you're doing like an external type of learn. You're learning from the outside and you're absorbing what other people are doing. So you're trying to like mimic what they're doing, but you're not actually learning. You're just receiving information and you're, you feel like you're the man because your head is gassed up because you took in all this information, but you didn't do shit yet. So how the fuck are you the man if you didn't do shit yet, right? So when you do shit, you actually learn for yourself, right? Because from experience, another thing you should be taking, I'm telling you guys, bangers. If you do what other people are doing, you're only doing what other people are doing doesn't mean it makes you happy. It doesn't mean it works for you. It doesn't mean that you are going to get the same results as them. It doesn't mean that you've done that thing that they've done as long as they've done it. So you are not going to get it as done as fast as they are or as good as they're going to do it because their background with that thing that they did, that was dope, right? Their background with that thing that they did, huh? isn't the same as your background with that thing that they did. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm a clown. But, guys, that ass, that's exactly what you got to do, man, is do. Do more than you learn, right? So stop learning, go more for doing, right? So um, that's it. Just go and do, right? Because when you do, then you actually get shit done. Right. And when you do, then you actually learn for what makes you happy. Right. So I always listen to me. But there's another thing. Before you start doing, you obviously got to get some information into what you want to do. Right. So I agree with that. I agree because before you do something, you got a, a confused mind always says no. Right. So if you're confused, you're always going to say no to that thing. Right. Write that down. A confused mind always says no. So if you have to do some research, so don't get ahead of yourself. Don't don't try to sneak in an extra day. Nah, come back over here, right? Learn for 30 days, right? Learn for 30 days. Come out. Do for a week, right? That's it. Then, learn for one day. Do for a week. Learn for one day, then you have a study day. Guys, I'm trying to tell you some good shit. If you do six days a week versus learn six days a week, everything changes for you, right? So what are you doing those six days a week? You're applying what you've learned the, the 30 days. But if you are like me and a procrastinator and like to do everything on your own time, then you're probably the kind of person that has been studying for two years, right? And still haven't done shit about it. You're like, I want to be this person, but I cannot be this person because I care about what other people think. And right now you're probably like, nah, that's not true, bro. Watch. Watch. You're going to hit that wall. Right now you don't care about what people think because you haven't even started yet.
But once you start, you're going to care about what people think. Watch. I'm trying to tell you. And if you don't, then you're full of shit. And I want you to get the fuck out of here. And when you're an honest person and you're an honest piece of shit, then you could come right back here to this video at 20.10, 2011, 2012. And you could continue, right? So if you're a procrastinator, um, you're in luck. Why? Because I am here. And that is me. I just, I told you me these last two years. So in these last two years, I've been wanting to be a YouTuber. I've been wanting to do this. I've been wanting to do that. But it's been a completely different world, right, in my head, right? Anything that I've done, I didn't think that I could get done in the time that I've gotten it done. Honestly, it's been fucking eight months and it's just been a completely different, like every day I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. But let me tell you, that is a great fucking thing, right? Because if you're constantly changing your mind in the big picture kind of thing, you're only changing your mind because that other thing isn't making you happy. I'm telling you, change your mind as much as possible. In the beginning, yes, you're going to want to make a song and then you're not. Good. That's good. And then you're going to want to make a video and then you're not. That's good. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep being lazy. Keep, keep just... I don't know how to put it, but just keep not wanting to do things, right? But don't beat yourself up over it. Know that that's for a reason that you're doing that. I'm telling you that is for a reason is because you do not like what you're doing at the moment because you don't have the information at the moment, because it's too overwhelming at the moment, because you don't have an idea, a clue on why, or you don't see the point to it yet. Yet, that's why you're not experienced enough, right? So that's what I had to come to the realization of. That's what I had to understand. And I said, that is it. I'm just lazy because I don't like something at this moment. It does not mean that I push it to the side completely. It just that means that I don't do it right now. And that's good. Do something that makes you happy at all times. Happiness, never money. Happiness, never money. You're not in this. If you're here because of the money thing right now, then you can leave as well. Because I'm not here to teach you how to make money. I'm here to teach you how to be happy. I'm here to teach you how to do more for your happiness, do more for your passion, do more for your dreams, do more for your hopes, do more for your yourself. I'm not here to, if you want to learn how to find money, that's out there in the world, right? That's somewhere out there in the world. That's for another video. That is not for this video. If, I, if you want to learn how to make money, then ask me a question. Yo, how do you sell a car? How do you post on Facebook? How do you... Ask me a question. I'll answer it gladly. But this is not for that. This is for your happiness, bro. This is for your happiness and your passion, right? So I did a lot of things that I didn't think that I'd be able to do, right? So I was able to fucking edit. I was able to make videos that I didn't think that I'd be able to do. Now I could post to 10 different platforms. In eight months, I've been able to teach myself how to post to 10 different platforms. That is ridiculous. The things that I know right now as far as like posting the platforms, as far as like reaching people, getting out to people. And my following isn't big. I'm not saying that you have to have a big following for this. I'm educating myself through my own things that I've done, right? So that comes to show you that if I haven't focused on, on growing a following, this takes time. And I've just been eight months learning about myself, right? So now I'm learning for eight months about myself. That is the power of doing. Now you're learning for yourself. You're now no longer absorbing information from others and not doing nothing. Now you're still absorbing great information. It's actually better information that you're going to find online, but because you haven't started yet and doing yet, you're, you just don't know that feeling yet. Right? So now you know for yourself. You're like, damn, I do want to be a boss. No, I don't want to be a boss. Yo, I do want to have a dealership. No, I don't want to have a dealership. Yo, wait, I do want to sell cars though. So I'm constantly changing my mind. Yeah, I do want to do this today. No, I don't. And I'm just going based off what makes me happy that day. And that's my balance every day. I focus on my happiness daily. I don't focus on it for fucking the rest of my life. You can't because you just... Tomorrow, something else is going to happen. It's going to throw your, your thing aside. A friend is going to come. It's going to say this to you. and It's going to piss you off. And if you focus on things that you have no control over, you're just going to drive yourself crazy. Stop focusing on things that you can't control. Shout out to D. And I go and um, go and I learn 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 and I learn. I'm like, wow. 
crazy, bro. It's crazy how much I've gotten done in the last eight months. And that's a great feeling, right? So I want to change you from a absorber to a doer because that's me now. That's what I've been doing. I've been absorbing this entire time. Now it's time for me to do, right? So I'm at that mark now. Eight months of just straight absorbing. And honestly, one thing that I regret, and I'm going to save this for you guys is not documenting the entire eight months of me doing, right? I did some of it. I did things that I felt comfortable with. And I, I never really stepped out of my comfort zone. Though. And that's one thing that I would tell you. If